Some Logansport residents hope city officials will continue to shop around when it comes to bringing a multi-million dollar power plant to the city. Last week, Logansport Mayor Ted Franklin announced plans for a purchase power agreement between the city and the developer Total Concept Solutions. The city will no longer be working with Pyrolyzer LLC. As News 18 reported, Franklin says the city will not have to pay to build or run the $803 million plant, which will use natural gas to produce power. Total Concept Solutions will foot the bill and use the city's infrastructure to deliver power. If approved, the new plant will generate a minimum of $5 million a year for the city from royalties. But several dozen residents at tonight's Logansport Municipal Utilities Board meeting still weren't sold. They should shop around and compare offers from different uh, electricity generators. We're frustrated because the mayor has taken over the Utility Service Board's job. It's a public board and it's a public city council and they can vote however they wish. If, it, if, it, if it's voted in, we act on, you know, we proceed down the road. If it's voted down, then we proceed down that road. The purchase plan agreement, which lays out financial details, will be open to the public on Friday. It will go before City Council and the Utility Service Board next month. There will also be a public hearing May 15th. A final decision on the project will be made by June 24th. A discovery inside West Lafayette City Hall may spell the end for the building on Navajo Street. Some mold originally thought to be the product of two burst water pipes earlier this year has actually been developing for years. Mayor John Dennis says during an investigation, crews found the structure has been allowing water to leak into the basement for decades. A final report from Tecton Construction Management will estimate the cost of repairing the building, but Dennis thinks it may be too late. Tecton will also give a quote for what it may take to demolish the building. New locations for City Hall are being considered. The investigation should wrap up this summer. Area food pantries are working to keep up with a growing need after cuts totaling $1.5 million have been made in Tippecanoe County in the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP, in the last six months. On November 1st, about $5 billion nationwide was cut from the SNAP program. For Tippecanoe County, it means an annual cut of $3 million. Lafayette Urban Ministry officials say in the first quarter of the year, the St. John's Lum Food Pantry traffic was up about 5%. Executive Director Joe Mikon believes that, along with a 7% increase at the Lum Homeless Shelter, is because of the cuts. When people get cut in their food budgets, they have to rob Peter to pay Paul in order to make ends meet. So they will cut back on rent, um, they will cut back on other types of transportation uh, needs. As News 18 has already reported, the St. John's Pantry will open on Saturdays starting in June.